In this episode, Rosie is back and we talk about how to get out of your own way and truly connect with the audience so that you can speak from any platform with passion. I ride the wave swiftly, I fear no man, check my titles mate quickly, came from the sky with the light of day in. Hello Snapchat, and it's funny isn't it, this English accent thing, that this actually happens to Rosie, sometimes she'll be talking and then she will just talk in an English accent. Because I was born in England. I know, we've spoken about this on this show, <laughs> probably six times. How was your holiday Rosie? It was fantastic. Where did you go? I went to Vegas and a few places in Mexico. Wow. Mm-hmm. Vegas and Mexico. Cabo, Cancun. Any experiences or was it just Vegas and Mexico? No, it was, I mean, well, that was Vegas and Mexico, but yeah. <laughs> I had a few profound experiences. That's good. Mm-hmm. What Do you want to know the, what they are? What was the number one learning or realisation you got in the month that you were, you were away? Hmm, that I am really bad at keeping my phone with me at all okay. times. <laughs> That's an important lesson to learn. <laughs> That's a very important lesson. <laughs> Now, today's question. Okay, we've got heaps so, of questions because we haven't done a pre-recorded in a we while. Haven't done them. While Rosie's been away, we've been yeah. We had to bulk up before I went away. Rerunning some reruns. Have you missed me? That's my question. That's a good question. In the comments below, crew, have you missed Rosie Maloney? Let us know in the comments below. Rosie, hit us with today's question. Okay, today's question comes from Jenna Denton. She asks, public speak. <laughs> Clearly, I've been away for a while. <laughs> that sounded like Harry Potter. Har 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 <laughs> okay, public speaking. How did you learn to do it so well, or are you a natural? I have just started workshops and public speaking and would love direction to where I can master it. That's so funny. I did a question. Mm. A que oh my God, we're both not on today. I are know. We? <laughs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> I did a &A with our students today over Zoom. And uh, someone asked that question almost word for word. How did you learn public speaking? Is, is it a skill you learned or did it come naturally too? Exact same question. The answer is this. Um, public speaking is a skill like anything. The more you do of it, the better you will get at it. However, I am a big believer in it not being about the technique. You can see, well, you can go and do any speaker training with many different people in Australia and around the world. Um, and you can learn all the techniques, you can learn all the tactics, right? What then happens is you then go and see somebody speak uh, and they do none of that. They break all the rules. In fact, they might do the opposite to what the speaking guru just told you to do. Um, and yet they're amazing and they blow you away and they resonate and um, they, 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 they touch you at, a, at, a, at an emotional level. Um, and they do it so incredibly well without following any of the rules. And so I think it's important to learn how to find your voice, but more importantly than the tactics and the techniques is to become married to your message to such a degree that all you care about is getting and conveying your message to the audience, right? A lot of the time when we're doing these or if I'm on stage over here or doing a Q&A with our students like I was doing before, my, my head is so full and my heart is so full with all I want them to get is whatever it is I'm trying to convey. So in a Q&A format, in this instance, all I want you guys to get is a true understanding of how to be the best possible speaker and communicator. You can be, I'm not thinking about what do you think of me right now. I don't really, with all due respect, I don't really care what the audience thinks of me at any given moment. Uh, understand some will resonate with you, some won't. All of that's cool. Who gives a fuck at the end of the day? Ultimately, if you are truly genuinely passionate about communicating your message in such a way that touches the hearts and minds of your audience, then that's what will um, translate. That's what will come through, right? It's not about the words you use. It's not about how you stand or where you stand or what you do with your hands or whether you swear or whether you don't or any of that shit. It's about are you passionate? Are you congruent in what you're saying? And to what degree do you care about the message that you're conveying? And to what degree do you care about the audience that you're speaking to? Because if you're thinking about all of that, then you essentially, in your mind, you disappear, right? And you become a channel, if you like, to convey whatever it is that you're trying to convey. So that sort of to spiral back around. That's the other thing, is that you need to be speaking about something you genuinely care about. I don't understand why anybody anywhere would ever speak about anything that you didn't care about like even if you if you had a job and you had to do a presentation if you're not in if you're not like 
connected to what you're presenting on, you need another job, right? And so um, it comes back to, you know, when, when, when what you do with your life's work uh, is truly a reflection of who you are, then at any moment when you're communicating with other human beings, that authenticity will shine through. And authenticity, this is a good one, when speaking, authenticity trumps technique, right? Be connected to the message, care about your audience, and truly speak from the heart. That's the other thing with speaking from a platform. And a platform might be a video, it might be a stage, it could be any metaphorical or literal platform. It absolutely needs to be about uh, talking to the hearts and minds of your audience. So often when people get on stage, firstly their personality shrinks, but secondly they become too professional and it becomes a highly intellectual conversation, almost an academic conversation, right? What's more important in my view is not the intellectual stuff, but the heart stuff, not the mind stuff, but the heart stuff, right? If you can connect emotionally, if you can take people on a journey, if you can tell stories that they can see themselves in and you can embed some uh, really important takeaways that can you know, help them intellectualize how to move forward in a particular area of their life with a particular outcome they're trying to achieve, then all the better, right? But the emotion and what you're able to, if you can reach their heart, then that's the message in which you can wrap any of the intellectual information that you're trying to convey, right? Marry the message, care about your audience, speak to the heart. So what that means